I'll say hi to YouTube. It's be on YouTube later. But the reason that I want to do this is because I want to gauge the uh, uh, community's opinion on trauma race so far. I know it's early. It's very preliminary. But even in terms of the other family heads we've seen, like Gus Tang, we've gotten a very little of Gus Tang. So I just kind of wanted to to see how everybody was thinking, what we were feeling about it. I know it's early, but we got to see him a bit present time and in a bit of a flashback. So I thought it was just appropriate. As we see more, our opinion on him will change and whatnot, but... I did forget to ask this, so I'll ask this now early while you guys are here. How did anyone feel about the kind of redesign? Because initially when SIU showed us him, I think, when did we first see I don't remember, like a silhouette of him. He had the ears. Are you guys are you guys liking this design more, that design more? What do you got? How you how you feeling about it all? What y'all thinking? Simi Wilin? <laughs> yeah. Cause I think he looks okay. Oh, did this did Discord do the thing? Yes it did. Good job, Discord. No, it didn't. Thank you, my friend. Pull up. His design is fire as hell. I, gonna lie. I think that's the one thing I will not take away from him in any capacity. I'm I am personally I'm mixed on the mask. I don't know if I like it or hate it. It's not bothering me, but like I think if I know why he's wearing it, it'll it'll dictate how much if I like that he's wearing it or not. That makes sense. But he got drip. He definitely has the air and personal ambience, like the vibe and energy of a family head, like dignified, the way that people revere him and whatnot. The level of disinterest and like condescending nature and condescending nature, like all of those things, like he definitely is a family head. But he's a freak. <laughs> he's a freak. He's a freak. I know about him. I can't wait any longer. Breed now. Excuse me, sir? Bro? Alright, alright, man. Whatever you're into, I'm not here to judge. You feel me? Old design didn't give me enough to have an attachment. That's fair. I'm at work, so my powers aren't nerfed at the moment. I feel it. But thank you for coming through. You kind of clean. I was definitely attached to the old design, but this one is growing on me. That's facts. What's up? What's up, Golden Ace? Somebody definitely told him this will look good. What's up? I'm all right, man. What's up? What's up, Walmart? How you doing, bro? He's wearing the mask with SLU reads One Piece and, and copy the, celeb or the, or the Celestial Dragon. So the bubble, the one I breathe the air of these commoners. You fight like a younger, like a younger man energy. Admirable. <laughs> this new design is great. Mask and coat really add to it. Yeah, the coat is the coat is crazy. I didn't notice this, but apparently his mask is different present time than it was in the past. I didn't pick up on that. Is that true? Did anyone else notice that? We could look I'll look after, but I didn't pick up on that. I read that comment recently, but I think he's cool though. He's cool. Let's get through these comments. Let's see what you guys have to say about the boy, Tramore. Let's see if y'all feeling him or not. He's Celestial Dragon and stuff. He's actually superior to anyone else. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's actually, like, not a loser. Or, well, debatable, but he's not weak and a lame and needs someone to carry him. He he could do his own things. So, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Need to pick it up? Yeah, they're different? Okay, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't notice. But, all right. So, all I got to say, bro took Nene. Oh, my God. So, this. So, we're wilding, we're wilding already. Clearly. But all I got to say is bro took Nenea, pierced her through the stomach, brought her to Wang Wen and said, in the end, he betrayed me. Bro is a demon. He is. That's crazy. Can't be doing that. Like, he really did all that and said, so yo, I killed your wife. Like, you're going to betray me now? Like, bro, why did you? Wang Wen was like, why didn't you? Come on, dog. Yeah, they're different? Yeah. I don't know, man. But we got, but I, I think that he has some deep rooted like traumas and issues and whatnot. By the way, I will be checking Twitter too. Twitter had some comments. He's a narcissist, psychopath, furry lover, control freak. He's also deeply hurting and sad with a lot of emotional and mental trauma. I guess being alive that long will do that to a person. I don't know if this is SIU's way of tackling mental illness through his character. On the bright side, nobody's messing with Trauma Ray's drip. Best outfit in TOG so far. And his face mask needs to be TOG merch ASAP. That's cool. I'll... Do you need more TOG merch? Um, He doesn't have my favorite design. I will say that. 
I don't know if he has the best outfit though. I think as far as the family heads go, I think he's got he's got some of the best drip. But I think Gus Stang looks equally as dope as he does. Real talk, I really do. My thing with Trauma Race, the big coat he kind of has on, like that's moving me. I can't hold you. It's clean, like it's clean. It's moving me. He changed his style a little bit. The mask, okay, okay. Uh, I'm low key a fraud. Were the Superman recommendations? Oh, I got you. I I told you to remind me if I forgot. So. <laughs> I got you though. Um, remind me later. I don't want to make the Superman video. I'll go on a tangent, but I got you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some um, some cartoons to watch or the cartoon anim like animated movies, and I'll give you some comic books to check out. This design is good, better than the older than the older one. I actually agree with that. I think it looks better. The only thing I think I might have kept was maybe the ears. Or give him some type of animalistic thing. But you never know. Maybe he can use like canine transformation and stuff. Like that would be interesting. So we never know. Design is good. Better than the older. The personality as you would expect. Full with pride and arrogant. The ability we haven't seen yet overall. I'm excited to see him fight and meeting Bam. I am a little bit. I'm a little bit interested to see how him and Bam are going to interact because he's, I think he's probably like, he doesn't see, he's not going to see Bam as a trifle. He's probably going to see him as somebody the same way Gustang was like a bug is a bug. And I stand corrected and looked and saw Bam. There is somebody who could stand at the, at the same level as us one day. His drip is better than Gustang's though. Is it? Like, is it though? Like Gustang got the glasses, he's clean, he's smart. Like, I don't know. He got, he got the Cartier's on. He clean, bro. What's up, hi and low? How you doing, bro? Dustang just like our oh, world of rich man clothing. Yeah, what's up, that? He got he got the Lionel Luther drip. We, we, I don't know. Does it seem like he immediately means to harm Bam? I do think he has a lot of interest and in intri intrigue in him. Generally speaking, I don't necessarily think he is here to like destroy him or or hurt him. Jihad probably wants that, but I'm not entirely sure if um trauma is there. He's probably he's probably born like this new irregular. He's up here. Let me just see what's going on. He's Something to do. Like, I could see family heads like him getting bored easily. See, me, I'd be like Urek, no matter how strong I am. So, I'm going to just be running around, hanging out. I won't lie to you, though. I got a lot of Kunedwan in me. So, leave it at that. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Bug, greater than Trifle. A bug is a bug. A ah, Trifle? Yeah, bug is a bug hit, is hitting a bit more. But, glasses and lab coat. Yes. Workshop, workshop type beat. We here. Okay, Trauma, I believe, is lazy. He could be extremely powerful without using his beast, and it's just something he enjoys doing. I like and dislike him. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I'm not mad at that. I do think he's probably very competent without using his animal ability, but this is probably what separates him as, like, or what makes him unique as a family head. They probably all, they all have a thing, I'm going to say. Shinsu control, intelligence, um, sturdy body, swordsmanship, needlemanship. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say Kunadwan. <laughs> Maybe not make that joke. I'm going to say he got the long sword style, but then, you know, things to defender, Shinsu resistance. Like, I got a thing. Tupuri, probably the opera lighthouse kind of thing. So he's a full weirdo and hella insecure, but who's going to check him? And that's his entire vibe, and I'm here for it. I'm not mad at that. Oh, shoot. I, missed, I, I skipped you, Seraph. My bad. At introduction, I was more like, eh, he's cool, I guess, crowd. But as the chapters went on, and we learned more about his character and hints to his past. I'm really starting to like him. The way he thinks and acts, a controlling recluse, works logically well with whatever betrayal he faced in the past. Him also showing up to Yas and Baylord. With Nen with uh, with Naya still on the spear might be the Ross moment to OG. That was honestly cold blooded. Was she already was she already like dead, deceased when it happened? Or was she like still alive? Because that was crazy. I think it's also partially comes from my dissatisfaction with Gustang. Of course, he of course sees that he was above everyone, but trauma just has intimidation factor that fits for me a lot more. Lastly, knowing wait, hold on. Knowing the Ross. Wait, is he talking with Ross here? Um, probably a, a Bam clashing with Trauma Race high, and I hope that he slapped the ish out of Bam. It's fine if Trauma takes a little damage. I think no, he shouldn't. But with, given what happened with Urek, he's already kind of made that a possibility. But Bam is a big L, and the only one who can really deliver at this point is the big bad family head. That happens, he might just become a favorite character on the spot. But do you guys think it's a little extreme for us to need a family head? 
to humble Bam? You don't think someone else should have been capable of doing that? Just somebody competent within the... Even if he's an in-tower inhabitant, a tower inhabitant, you don't think it should have been someone else? I'm just curious. He said Triflo kind of go, kind of goes crazy. Bug hit harder for me because like trifle, I keep hearing it. The bug is a bug. It's like I heard it once, but the one time I heard it, it hit. Like he don't gotta repeat it. He could just say it one time. So he what banned because someone to chat with because 10k years old. <laughs> I wonder how revolution works with Trimer's abilities. Oh, hmm. I wonder if he. I wonder if the god of that's 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 that's, that's interesting and i also i also want to know if some if somehow personalities can be tied into abilities i'll touch that in a second if i forget remind me that i that i brought that up and one specializes in bloodline expansion <laughs> i like that that's clean i like that that's what i'm gonna say it he said my clan huge gang is con type me everybody my everybody my son everybody my daughter um only hard hand is moving me right now not gonna lie i feel that I feel like all the um, family heads are gonna be are gonna be pieces of ish one way or the other. I think we'll get a couple that are not like that. I I honestly think Haryur is probably not like that. And who one of them I'm I'm certain is gonna be a total goofball, like just a goofy individual. One of them. But I I I, I could I could get why I could get where you're coming from. I understand that. Reminder: No raw hints in the comments, people. Yes, we have we have streams for that specifically, so don't worry. Come to the stream without reading TOG feels like failing trigonometry and going to a calculus class <laughs> right after. Catch up, bro. Uh, given the most recent chapters, I need time to take a big L. That's extreme, extremely. I'll answer your questions with a question. Who gonna check Bam right now? All right, fair enough, fair enough. Probably, but SIU keeps upping the stakes and power scales exponentially every 10 arcs it isn't it, it doesn't even need to be a family head but this pam this uh bam plot convenience is getting annoying again fair enough it's extreme that by 450 the only ones who can fight bam without being sur surpassed mid fight is a family head i think that is kind of crazy when you think about it i am not expecting the dynasty arc but please see you make yama punch his face for once low key i don't even know bam but i need him to get bodied he has a very punchable face that's funny as hell. He's like, I don't know who it is, but somebody hit him for the one time. Okay. Full weirdo is secure. We're going to check him. Not, okay, yeah, all right. I read that already. I answered this comment? What did I say? Oh, okay. Brian says, to be honest, I haven't read TOG in a while. Once they introduced Trauma Ray spelling, I stopped reading for a while. Has it gotten better since he appeared? Oh, so you're... I, I I misread your comment then. Um, I, I honestly I haven't really had a problem with Tower of God all 2022. I'm just gonna be real. Like, I'm not saying we're back at peak TOG season two kind of thing, but I've been okay. Like, I'm fine. I'm chilling. You know, I'm not angry at nothing. I'm cool. Now we smoking that Tron right pack. CBL peak coming. Okay. All right. CBL certified BAM lovers. We are here. The way Trauma Ray introduced is great and hype, but seeing we have not seen any kind of casualties from Bam's side is a bit of a letdown. And the fact that most branch leaders aren't as strong as we had as we have hoped for goes to show that the Lopo Bia family as a whole is a one man show with Trauma Ray being the drive the driving force when it comes to power. Hmm. I see where you're coming from. Though, you could probably really make that case for, nah, I hear what you're saying though, no, because some of those Hoff family people are running around doing their thing, but the family head is the, is, is the power, you know, at the end of the day, but okay, hold on. If somehow Bam sides winning this war without any extreme help, uh, example, another family head or maybe loose like this will be a massive letdown for the readers. Yeah, I agree with that. Because from this point onward, there will be little to no tension when it comes to story anymore. I honestly think we've already kind of gotten there, Jua. It's a little bit. We've gotten there. I do think that Trauma Ray has injected some tension back into the story. But I agree. If a family head were to come to the floor and pull up and nothing bad or no real major long-lasting consequences happens to Bam and our party, that's not a good look at all in any capacity. Uh, and this is not uh, talking solely on power comparison, um, but but the kind of hardship that Bam will face in the future if he 
if we climb, if the climb becomes so easy because Bam is technically a higher ranker when it comes to power, there's no longer attention except if another family leader shows up or Jihad himself is starting to fight Bam head on. I mean, I love TOG, but this continuous fight and power show a show off needs to chill. SI needs to focus on the story as a whole. To me, season one and, and two were the best stories so far. Absolutely agree with that ending part there. That's peak TOG. Let me, let me hard that. Spin. I like what you, I like what you had to say. Um. Uh, blah 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 blah. What's the last thing I read here? <laughs> I will say that the Bam scenes have been pretty uninteresting compared to everything else. Even the most recent. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I feel you. I I kind of naturally feel that way, but I genuinely think all the things happening that's not part of the suspendium is far more intriguing at the time being. Lopa B have two strong people above a Van Kel. Yeah. Do you think Jihad and the family heads used to laugh and chill like human beings before they got all high and mighty? I actually do. Because I know I, I, I know that like the small things you do every day make up your long term psychology. So I can see being heralded as these absolute like coming from another world to this world and being literally unstoppable, eventually immortal, amongst other things will turn you into a bad person. I don't think it should change you, but I can see how over a millennia and centuries and hella hella years, you'd become disconnected, aloof, condescending, and all those type of things. I do think a lot of those family heads kind of reserved their natural personality. I always like to use Urek as a barometer. I know he hasn't been in a tower as long as them, but as strong as he is, as prestigious as a person and how much reverence that he has in a tower... He's getting rejected by bitches and all kinds of stuff. Like, he's just living life. Like, he's cool. Like, he's cool. So. And he still looks up for the little guy. And then it turned him until it's, like, holier than thou. I'm just better than you. Though I do think high rankers in general in this, in this series, to, to a large degree, just have a general condescending attitude. I do think that. Just realized Chamre would not really be the father of his clan, but hands out power like Jihad or Ian because no one calls him father. Only family head. When we know how urine is called grandmother, Edwin is called father, Ari is called father. I do think it's a, it's possible. I do think he still has legitimate children, but maybe it's one of those things where, like, I think somebody said it, I don't remember where, where, like, he, it's, it's wild if he's a test tube baby. Like, what if he's, like, giving his DNA to implant into things? So it's like you still have, like, a part of trauma raised, like, DNA and essence in you, <laughs> so to speak. But he didn't, like... He didn't do what uh, Nenea and Wang Wang did. Lay the, he didn't lay no pipe, no iron. Feel me? Yeah, we see that in the hidden floor. G Chief, we know they did. Young Jaha was a jolly adventurer. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, for sure. I really need to reread. <laughs> Being immortal is not a good thing after all. Immortality sucks. I just think immortality is like anything else in this world. It has its pros. It has its cons. I don't think anything is perfect. I'm just I'm just worried that Bama's gonna become Jin Wu and just body everyone no different after this arc. That's possible. So trauma ray a family head and still gets no holes? That's tough. <laughs> Final trauma essence in you? That's crazy. <laughs> I think most people call family head family head except Yuri and White. I think sometimes it could depend if you were actually a direct descendant or not. You know? Like if like you could have, you know, let's say Kuna Dewan's blood, but he's not your direct descendant. Like you're not he's not actually your daddy. So it could be one of those things. Make the Look at the comment section a bit smaller. Which one's comments? Is it this? Is it this one? I gotta make it a little, little, little smaller. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Childish New Jabez says he knocking it out the park so far. He's a threat, and I really uh, feel scared for our characters right now. Similar to the other family heads we've seen, we have seen. I feel the God complex and the detachment from the world they have from him. I won't lie. I was a big fan of his silhouette design from back in the day, and I was very attached to that. So his current design didn't sit well with me at first, but I'm warming up to it. So far, I'm impressed, and, I'm, and I really hope that Chamare moving will be a catalyst for something of his level to move to confront him. My two hopes are either interacting with Gustang or a fight or confrontation. Well, I think I had a confrontation with Luselec. I'm I'm here with I'm I'm with that, I'm with that. Just had to just 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 what do you if you guys had to pick one to show up, Gustang or Luslek, which one would you prefer to show up? My preference, like 
Like, in my head, I'd rather it be Gustang just because of their title and families and because of the three orders. But because I've never actually seen Loose Leck, and I think it'd give me insight into FUG, I partially would just, I think that's just more interesting, more intriguing. Though I'd probably personally want Gustang. But what do you guys, who would you guys rather? Loose Leck, Team Loose Leck, Loose Leck for sure. Okay. If you hold us, can't respect you as an antagonist. I'm sorry. I heard that the the like main antagonist for a while in that Tokyo Revengers show was just like a, a major like like beta. I think Holland is a direct descendant. Okay. Ooh. You think that's why Trauma Ray allowed him as a hatchling uh candidate to like just like accompany him? That's interesting. I like what you had to say there. I want to see Luce like so badly. Okay. I prefer Gustin to show up and engage in the civil war of the families. I see it. I'm kinda of with you, Omar. I, I I I hear that. I hear that. I think Gustang would have a better overall moment and purpose, but looks like he's a new character. That's exactly how I'm thinking, Miles. Do you think the season two design or Tramere is his design while he was still climbing? You think maybe it changed? I think SIU can come up with a, a tangible, real reason for why it changed. I just think that he hadn't necessarily like figured out how he wanted Tramere to look, so he gave us a general design, but he wanted to keep it in the theme of like animals, controlling beasts and creatures, trifles, if you will. And let's just like, you know, the animalistic thing. So we give him the little ears and the tail. He could possibly have the tail maybe. I don't know if I've seen him without the coat just covering it. Like the coat could like be around, like like still inside his, his, his coat, but, or whatever. But I don't know. I I like this design more. I just said that I would give him, like, I will, I like the idea that maybe he has like, like fangs or something, but eh. Yeah. All right, but let's keep going though. So most of y'all sing loose leg. I'm not mad at that. Omar, it's your turn. I think Traumary for the first time showed the overwhelming presence of a top like 25 ranker that we've only got from Jihad. Though, considering how much focus we are getting on him, it seems he's getting set up as one of the, the weaker 10 family heads and likely one of the first to go. I can see why you're saying that. I just hope that if he goes down, this arc is from Gustang backstabbing him, not Bam initiating a civil war between the family heads. I... Well said. Well put. Season 2 was just what Elaine is, just what Elaine's thinking. Even not branched leaders ever see him. Why Elaine know his appearance? Wait, what? Sorry. Season 2 was just what Elaine is thinking. Not even branched leaders. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of, yeah, some of them have never seen, seen the face before. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I almost actually said something from a, from a future chapter, but I will not do that. I promise I wouldn't. I think Trauma might be on some uh, Geoffrey Lannister-ish in the bedroom where he thinks of himself of so high that he sees women below him as literal farm animals. Like, just like a, like, like he sees them as just like a, almost like an incubation machine. Like, you are here to bring, to bear children type of thing. I could see someone, I could see a character like this having a very skewed view of, of females like that and thinking like that. Especially if, he engages with that from with the animal kingdom a lot specifically. I know humans are still mammals or animals, but I'm like maybe with like you know chondrichthys and you know different types of animal phylums and classes. I thought I, I, I could see that. Hey, Lopo, be a leader, breeding at my effort, true slave owners, free my canine people from that bond. What's up, Nara? How you doing, bro? Uh, phone M, super phone M. How you doing, bro? Slide a guy. I like that. Man. Slide a guy. That's clean. Um. He's more or less met the expectations for what I had of a family head strength-wise. Pinnacle of Shinsu specialty, assuming OP, OP overpowered in general. I like his design. Aside from the cool face mask, he's just a dude in some robes. Simple, but effective. I wasn't surprised to see that he was a recluse, but I was surprised to see him curled up in a ball like some sort of neat. He makes me wonder if the rest of the family heads are going to be as distant or semi-depressed all the time. It'd be a bit disappointing if they're all chilling in their throne rooms for centuries upon centuries, only deciding to move when the term irregular comes up. The recent backstory helped him show he's capable of caring about something aside from his fellow irregulars and family heads, and now he has some hang-ups, insecurities from his previous life as an explorer. Ooh, that's well said. I like that comment a lot. Cool face mask. <laughs> um... And in the lane, Traumer had a horn. I thought the dragon in the wall of Yamas actually descended. Oh, shoot. 
A sly guy spit? Absolutely. <laughs> You're right there. I, <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> that's what I would do. If you read my comment, like, damn, that guy's smart. That's what that's all that's that's Lizard knows, Dance. Can we, can that man try my rank? Can, can, we get, can we get the rank? We, we only know non-family head we don't know. That's true. And he was the last name that we didn't know, right? We knew all the names until Trauma Ray's name was dropped in the story and not in the blog post, if I remember correctly. I hadn't actually realized that. One of you guys actually had pointed that out to me. But Sly, you spitting, for real. He looks like a like a Jedi who's in his left is in his lefty phase in college who has a special mask for COVID. <laughs> you liberal. Um, Scobes. That's my guy. TBF for life. Let, hmm, let me see. I'm extremely interested in his past with the other family heads and how the whole fallout happened. Also, I would love to see how his trauma developed as a result of said past. Now, when it comes to trauma in the current <clears throat> Webtoon, I feel SAU has done a fairly good job showing him, showing a shift in tension and how overwhelming it is to be in the presence of a family head. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this is TOG though, and his objective is to take control of BAM, so uh, we shall see how this goes. CBL for life. I'm the tower's reckoning. <laughs> um, mask equal raw. Come on, Glam, don't do this. Masks are always raw, but again, I'm mixed on it. I don't, I think when I know why he's wearing it, I'll tell you if it's raw or not. That's kind of, that's kind of where I am at the, at the, at this moment. Let me see. Uh, did I want to comment thing you said? Yeah. I want to see kind of like his story. I honestly think to some degree because of like how long they've been in the tower and how strong they are on the, pos the positions that they have. I do think that a lot of the family heads are aloof and generally disconnected in a lot of ways, but I do think some of them are a lot more involved in their families. If you asked me personally to think of somebody who I think is very involved in their families, for some reason, I think high urine is a little more involved. And we did see Trauma Ray kind of like speaking to like some people in his family, even though he's there on his chair, just like hugging his leg. You know about like certain things going on. He's not complete. He's not like he's not. He doesn't know what's going on. He just like he does have the like hikikomori type. Like that's what I was trying to remember. Hikikomori, like him, like recluse type. I just I just sit here and I do this. He kind of reminds me of um, what's her name? R repels, R repels, repel. Jesus, what what's that Johan princess's name? The one that just be gaming in her room. Repesalista, I can't. I'm sorry. I, I I know I'm butchering her name. Someone will type it out, and I and but yeah, I don't. But her, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there we go. He kind of reminds me of her a little bit. Oh, uh, this Miles guy, he's never spitting, bro. Never. This guy, this Miles guy, he never spitting, bro. When it comes to regulars, that's how you just don't miss. Except with except that, <laughs> design is great, and could lead to his character and relationship with Jihad. Personality interesting, except. Accepted of an immortal king that rules above others. Powers are great. Want to see his other beasts? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Repelista. Repelista. There we go. Has someone on that one's obsession with Jihad? Yeah, yeah. I think that, um... I think that, um... Him and Jihad were probably really close. I really do think that. I think some of the things you guys were telling me about Arlene, what Gustav, like, Arlene got along with anybody, there's a part of me that wonders if Trauma Ray had any type of romantic interest in Arlene. But again, you guys know me. I'm not a theory headcanon guy like that. So <laughs> he said, guy sucks. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Very good inter inter interruption. Introduction. Living up to the hype so far. I hope to see more of his past and his relationship with the other family heads. Saw the character so far. I do think Trauma Ray is one of those characters that as when we get to see the other ones, we'll see how he stands out as an individual for sure. Because there is, there is a large part of me that believes that he's kind of an outlier. Especially with the stay by yourself type of thing. Maybe Jihad too. But Jihad be sleep though. I don't like him. But he, then he's a villain. So that's good. I hate uh, Ho. He's cold abusive. But so, so far, someone reminded me that it was loose like that. The GW met on their journey. Or was it V? No, loose like is loose like is not a. If I remember correctly, loose like is not a, a regular. They met him on the way there. He was just really close with V. But yeah, uh, will I do the? I, I do I do them every three weeks. Um, 
every three weeks. But I actually want to talk about some recent things. I'm thinking about doing one today, honestly. So I might do one today, right after this. But yes, I do them every three weeks, though, just so you know. Is it loose like one of the original people in the tower? I think so. I think so. I know loose like is like a spe it's like a special being, but I know. But if I remember correctly, he's not in the E regular. He's not from outside the tower. But I think he might. It'd be interesting if he's one of like the, cause, hold on. See this. See this is this is why I hate like I hate like um head and theories. Cause like I know sometimes I can go off a rail. You just saying that made me think is Shaw descended of loose like. Because if Luslek is, like, one of the first people in the tower and Cha is a descendant from the first something of man, could Luslek be from that clan or from those people? I have to think about all the moving parts in Minutia that. There's probably, a lot, of, there's probably a, lot of, a lot of variables I'm not thinking about. Don't take what I just said seriously. Anyways, let's keep moving. He barely stood up in the present time yet. I feel like it's too soon to judge him for that. That's why I asked, like, so far. I just wanted, to, I just wanted preliminary thoughts. I think we had enough because we saw him present time a little bit and in the past. So I just wanted to know how we were feeling. I'm just testing the water here. But I do think it's early. You're right. You're not wrong. In the flashback, he's been pretty ruthless and I dig his design. I want to see him use his power for real overwhelm high rankers at the nest like flies now to seal the deal. Um, I mean, so far, he's terrible, cold, abusive, but eh. He's been alive for too long. He needs to be put down. <laughs> East to West reacts. That's my guy. He he talks about Tower God too. Definitely give him check him out. Subscribe to him if you like the content that you see. When he starts to call everything a creature and seeing how he operates with domination and granting death as mercy for that cemented him as a. In the 110, he felt legit. I want to know more on his feelings with the 12, the 13. I how do I keep saying? How do I keep seeing the the number 13 is saying 12? Naya, are you okay, bro? Are you okay? It's like, the, it's like the third time I've done that in the past two weeks. I see 13 and say 12. 12 warriors. See reaction to Bam and Yama with ancient power. I really like his self-isolation gimmick because it reminds me of an apex predator to play off the animal theme. Apex predator. That's interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike that. I see how you can be around others when there's nothing above you. Everything must die or submit to him if you're not. Okay, how y'all reckon the family has in terms of power now? I got high ranker tiers, Arie, Kunha, mid tiers, Eurasia, Gustang, Yan, low tier, Lopo, Bia, Hendo, Ari, Tupuri, in that order. I already have no idea what y'all saying. I'm just here to make <laughs> this line of character. I don't know what you think of. Well, he reminds me more of a neglectful owner. Okay, I kind of think, I kind of hear what you say that. Here's the thing I think his mask is whatever. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, Miles. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea how to how to gauge or rank them. I do think that um, Arie Kun Ha and I personally think Gustang and Eurasia might be upper echelon from a from a Shinsu control standpoint. Gustang is the one that discovered it and learned that you can measure it and whatnot. And Eurasia could accelerate it to the point that she can make you like die of old age. Could be an ability. Could it be like? Could be one of those things that maybe matchups matter. The abilities they have matter. Because I will give SIU credit, even with some future events, he started to tap into what I believe Shinsu should be able to do on a grander scale, in terms of not just being colored beams and elemental beams. He's starting to use more abilities that I really, really like. So, yeah. Um, message deleted. Man, what 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 happened? <laughs> Why'd he get mad? What'd he do? I didn't see that. Y'all quick. Oh, it was a bot. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. I think he has the best of time that any family had we've seen so far, in my opinion. The reveal was pretty hype, and his involvement with his backstory arc has been cool. If he utterly schools Bam in a fight, he might become one of my faves. Okay. All right. My guy, JDB. I know you got to Oh, okay. I really like him. I personally have any that I don't have any, that anything interesting to say about him yet. I have head and theories that make me really like him. I like how he's a consistent menace. Really looking forward to his backstory as the irregulars are the true main characters in this story. His backstory has to be important. I think yes, Ratchet and Wang Wang uh backstory is twofold. 
with one part being their backstory and the second part being the fleshing out of Trauma Race character. Well said. I like that. I like his design. Despite knowing he's a bad person, I'm still very interested in the character. It's, it's, it's fiction, bro. It's okay if he's bad and you like him. It's not real. You'll be okay. <laughs> I am most intrigued about his dialogue regarding being betrayed by those in love and who is and who problem with not used to be under light. Also, what's under the mask of his? Do you guys think he's possibly disfigured or just like ugly in the lip? You got big, you got duck lips. <laughs> he ugly. That's why he had his mask. I think there's a reason why he wears it. Because as high and mighty as Gustang and other high rankers have been, Jihad even, he's not even on the, like, I'm not trying to breathe y'all air type beat, you know? By the way, I kind of like how the backstory of all the furry fodder from the last arc to just show how Yas Ratchet being an apex predator sort of comes full circle with his backstory. Like, he is a beast tamer. Absolutely. Um, showing how much a dominating force trauma rate is. I could just be reaching. I don't know. No, I think like there's definitely the food chain where Yas Ratcha is higher in the food chain, but there's obviously the top Don Don of the, the top dog, right? So I heard Naya say Banna got scared. No, no, you got lost. That was an accident when it happened to you. Legend of Zelda upward weapon has been uh, delivered to my guy. The Skywards slash. His called he called Hendo his friend. I guess his pieces of ish paired together. <laughs> I think V punched his face in. V mixed him. You thought V you thought V put him in the mixer. He said, "You always out here with these weird ass animals." <laughs> I am telling you, an ugly face. This scares the hoes. I, I I I had thought early on that he was disfigured, but maybe it's something as simple as having a sensitive nose. Well, okay, I think the mask is a power thing or significance with his past. I did, I did, I did see someone say that he thought that it was to like muffle his voice so that he he wouldn't just constantly be commanding the people around him to do stuff. I don't think that Chamoree needs to give a verbal command for people to listen to them. And I've already seen Yas Racha use days and just kind of use his finger. I don't think he needs to uh, do that. So that's why I disagree with that notion. I was kind of afraid that the next uh, that all the f that all the next family heads will be, we see might not be as impressive as Gustang, but he's living up to the name of the family head. We'll love to find out more about the betrayal that he speaks of, but, but for now, he is cool. The fact that people's eyes literally start to burn when they look at him is wild, though. He really can't look at that, man. They said, don't look at him. Don't even think. Them saying, don't even try to picture his appearance when sending me. I'm like, what does that even mean? Why? It's like, you look at him, your eyes are like, I wonder what he looks like. Is your head going to explode? <laughs> like, um, like Ken Shiro hits you in, with an attack? Like, what, what's going on with that? So. Oh, whoops. Don't do him like that, Glam. He said, he said, he said, y'all got the vid. Trauma, I put his camera weirdly in the chat room with Kieran. <laughs> Like why? You so he's a freak, man. He's so weird to me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He's weird to me. Let's read this. Let's read this one. Let's see what you have to say. High and low. I've been waiting since I read the Ross to say this. The translations are wrong. His name is Lopo Pia Clamore. <laughs> <laughs> the ish he did to Baylord Wang and Nen Nen came off as mad pathetic. You killed someone's wife and had a corpse hanging off your weapon and wanted some, some to, to wait. And you want some, of course, you betrayed me just like everyone else in my life. You are thousands of years old and you're still holding on to something that happened when you were first climbing the tower. Slanted aside, Tramray came off to me as little bro, the little brother of the 13 warrior group, like Narancha from JoJo or Mikey from. TMNT, Beast Boy, etc. I, I got, I got you're saying. He's still a part of a like elite, prestigious class or group or whatever, but comparatively, the little brother. Think like if you're a One Piece guy, think King Queen Jack. And Jack's a loser. Um, uh, where was I? Of course, he betrayed me. Yeah. Sander aside, came across a character interest. Seeing the other warriors finding love and former relationships might have made him feel isolated, hence the curled up position and mask. Even the giant coat he wears. Perhaps the reason he's for his freak tendencies making people breed 
fucking freak <laughs> is because he's been trying to figure out why people act on love. All else because he himself never understood that. I can't say much on his moveset because we only seen him summon and control, which is still cool. Realistically, we shouldn't see him go crazy this arc, but you never really know with Bam's fucking shenanigans. See, you're think you're thinking how I'm thinking in terms of. I do think that he started to you sorry start. I can't lean back because my my voice will get lower. Um, started to see like use animals and the creatures that he could control to try to understand interpersonal relationship dynamics and relationship stuff and feelings. I really think that he did that. You know what I'm saying? Naya looks at Jack. How Skip looks like LeBron. <laughs> Jack will put up like a 50 point triple double and I'm like, but he's and I'll find a reason. I'll find a reason to hate. I just wait for it, Miles. Um low spitting. Sun said, you thirst. You thirsty sick. Yep. Dude, if this is a raw, I want to talk about how wait, 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 it's not raw. It's not it's not that. It's not yet. It's not that yet. It's not that yet. We will we'll get there. Let me let me get there. I'll change the stream title and everything because some people are a fast pass only. Some people only read what comes online the webtoon. I know we're all we're all ahead though. But so just give it just give me a sec. But I hear you though. I hear you though. That's how you nailed it. Simple and clean, simple and effective. By the way, in terms of power and moveset, I'm okay with him just controlling stuff and whatever, whatever. Like I'm okay with that. I don't think I don't need to know, to go crazy yet like that. Alright, so what you got to say? What you got for me, Nick? What you got for me? For me, Trauma Ray is living up to expectations. I think that's where I'm at. He hasn't exceeded them. He's, he he has lived up to it. I will give you my opinion when it's all said and done. For me, Trauma Ray is living up to expectation. His design has grown on me. Very simple design. Nothing over the top. His character and abilities are fine at the moment. His power terms reflect his character in some ways, which always is a plus for me. See, that's what I'm thinking. He needs to be a complete control freak, and his reaction to betrayal has me wanting to know more about his past relationships with the other family heads. For ability, just seeing what he can do outside of the anima would be all I need to see, and him just biding anyone who steps to him. I just hope that he's not taken down too quickly, as that could lower the tension and permanently, uh, permanently for a long time and put a limit on who can be a threat to Bam and can accompany in the future. If he's defeated in an unsatisfying manner, that would alter perception of family head as a whole. I do think ST has to be careful to keep the title of family head. Um, as something that we as the readers respect and have a lot of reverence to. I do think he can mess that up and that we don't even really respect him as a whole. Or the ones that we end up liking, we see them as outliers amongst family heads, if you get what I'm saying. ESP merchant with the whole domination gimmick. Though badly, he showed his dead waifu's body before Papa Baylor. What did he expect, right? Time Great Family TOG in their reveal gave me some more hype than every member of the Kotsky when I was a kid. Hoo Jack went three days. Inu, Neko, Nasto, H and Giant Elephant. Jack doesn't have the clutch gene. Katie's. I think it's cool of Bam avoids Tramare beast and got close for Tramare just to beat the dog ish out of Bam with his hands on some on some I don't control animals. Lo was spitting just saying. You was. You was spitting. You was spitting, bro. Had his had his heart, man. I think he's I think he's okay, but Gustang is better. Hey, Gustang, that's my that's my guy. That's my revealed family head, okay? Traveler Star says, I think he looks cool minus the mask. He works as a character and has the air of a family head, but I don't like him. I'm more of an erect guy. Okay. Ashu says, as long as he doesn't get uh, slapped by Bam, I am good. On a serious note, I don't think there is any objective criticism to be made about him yet. I think a lot of folks just don't vibe with him so far, which is fair. I'm cool with that. I hear you. And Viola, and you got the... Viola Nasul, you got the trauma ray Avi. I know you, you got to be feeling it with the Avi. Uh, well, first of all, his name is his, his name trauma ray is cool. I like his design for the moment from the moment he appeared. Although I did not expect it to be like this, his drip is god tier in my opinion. I really love his ability, the animal he controls, and knowing that in Doan's flashback, it was said that he created his twenty five beasts. It seems like people mostly hate him, but I love his savagery and indifference. And it makes me hype every time we see him. So I would say Chamere is even 
a little he has he's he exceeded your expectations so far so he, he's gone up up and up and above for you i'm just gonna refresh to make sure no comments were added while i was reading nope we're good so we got through all the comments so let's talk let's talk let's talk so first let me give my general opinion so you guys know what i'm thinking and then we'll get into some discussion stuff so we'll know what i'm thinking we do Gustin coming you poisoned them before Okay, I only vaguely remember he poisoned them correctly three days. He's about to lose, so he just used... Ah, uh, yes, yes, he did do that. Okay, so... My opinion is actually very similar to Traveler. The Traveler stars, the guy, the guy who commented not too long ago. Where it's like, I don't have any problems with Trauma Ray's, like, appearance, really. I don't have any issues with, like, his current role thematically right now. He's totally fine. He's met my expectations. He has the air and the presence of a family head and like how everybody's bound to him and stuff like that. I just don't like him. But you have to remember that I had said that before I even met Trauma Ray, I knew who he was. I already wasn't messing with the Lopo be a family head when I heard what had happened with and to Elaine. That alone made me just personally dislike him. I don't think he has any, I don't have any issues with him. I don't think he's poorly written or anything of the sort. But I just don't like him. That's all I'm going to say. But I, I already didn't like him prior to meeting him. So I was already biased. If that makes sense. The tags for the stream being black, Canada, and English is taking me out. I didn't even do that. It's a joke. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't add those. <laughs> given, her for, <laughs> given her history with the family. Uh, it's not about it. Elaine might get by this arc. I, I, see, I'm scared for that. Because... Cause I don't know, if, I don't know, I don't think Tom Ray would care or remember her though. But don't you look at Twitter too, Naya? You're totally right. I'm sorry, you're right. Twitter, Twitter didn't have comments. I totally forgot. <laughs> I would uh, live if Rachel killed Tom Ray, not just Bam. That would be crazy. I want Tom Ray to either be able to do a kind of man beast transformation or fuse with an animal like Megumi. That would be crazy. I like, I like the idea. I like the idea of him like being able to fuse with them or take parts of them into him or. Even just do the things the animals can do, or like on some Wyvern Rider shit. Like he's just on top of the creatures, like his his cape flowing. He on top of some cool ass beast, and he just like you know like a dragon rider. Like that'll be dope. I like I kind of like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, let's, let's go. To, let's go to Tweeter, Tweeter.com. Let me let me remove this momentarily. So I'm just gonna be in a black void. <laughs> Twitter up. I gotta find the tweet. You see, I'm so happy I didn't. I I took that that off because the first thing I saw was wild. <laughs> Twitter be wild. <laughs> the first thing I saw was crazy, son. Why did you guys? Why did you post that? Uh, when did I? There we go. Found it. Okay. Let's pull it back up. By the boom, by the bing. Might have to adjust some things, but just act to say I just asked the same question here. And let's just see what y'all had to say, man. See, I didn't forget about y'all. I'm here now. See? I'm here. Do you consider Holland as a person that Elaine liked a thousand years ago? I have heard people suggest that. Because he's like a cause cause he seems like an up and coming person. Like he's a hatchling and a possible future branch leader and stuff. I don't dislike the idea. If he's going to actually properly fully dive into it. If he's going to half-ass it, I'd rather him not bother with it. Just for, just pretend the Elaine thing with, and the, um, the princess stuff just pretty much didn't happen. Go all in and make that ha be a character for Elaine. For her to evolve and go forward or don't fucking bother. That's where I'm at. I be right with them retweets? What retweets? <laughs> what did I do? I'm, I'm a... I'm a nice. I'm nice. I'm wholesome on Twitter. Okay, I'm not horny on main. <laughs> Sadly, acting against someone who she knew could have been something. I feel that. Trauma looked like a, a frog and said, "You're gonna be raw." <laughs> All I have on my time is is hentai via Simi. Simi, yeah, Simi retweets. Simi got the anime titty. Okay, he definitely makes a strong impression when he first comes in as a being of. Of a ruthless leader who doesn't care about anything, who isn't on a, re a regular level, and his interest in things are very fleeting. He's definitely very petty. Design-wise, it's very mixed. The mask is cool. The rest is mess. So you like the mask. Okay. 
Primary seems like those people in a place of authority, parents, teachers that you know have seen enough and do not want to deal with your BS explanations on your behavior actions and just deliver you with the punishment. Okay. Great design. Better than his thanks in my opinion. Yeah. He's definitely consistent with the fa- with the family head's apathy and puppet master-esque behavior so far. All right. Rosaro, my guy, said, I think he's a piece of ish, but I'm really interested in him, and I think his design is cool. SI does a good job of making irregulars look special. Like, if this was a game, they would definitely be legendary skins or something. I want to see what sort of unique ish he can do as an anima. Haku said something that I really like. I think some of you guys kind of um, echoed this sentiment a little bit here. I'm actually going to just arrange this a little better. I'll, hold on. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll leave it like this. But uh, I like what Haku had to say. It was dope. He said, I got, got, he got the weirdest kinks in the tower. Made me laugh. I do like what he actually feels. Feels like you'd get if you sent a regular ass person into a fantasy world, left them there for thousands of years with an with immortality and basically limitless power. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. I mean, that made perfect sense to me. Kind of wish he looked more like the name hunt station image, though. Name hunt station is when it happened, okay, but yeah. Let them see the last thing I tweeted. No. <laughs> yes, Haku is always spitting. He's really, yeah. If you guys don't know, Haku also talks about Tower of God. Definitely, that's my guy. I think he's with Gustang as far as being one of the physically weaker family heads. He just has that OP mind control and animal ability to make up for it. But we haven't seen him fight physically. What if Trauma is actually a Shinsue himself, but maintains a more human-like form? But his real form looks similar to that of an administrator. Do you think that would be dope for Trauma Ray? Are you saying that because his design looks different from before? So you think he can... I don't know. That's 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 a bit of a reach. That's super head cannon tear. Oh, wait. With more replies here. Sorry. Oh, boy. I didn't even think about a possible transformation. And I doubt he'll get to use it. He'd probably still fight Bam in his regular form. Milios, my guy. Initial thought was, eh, he's mid, he was fleshed out, and actually, and and as he was fleshed out and he stood up, I thought, this guy's kind of cold. Now, when he stood up, I'm like, yeah, I said this, he was tall. I'm like, oh my god, like, I, didn't, I don't think he was that big. For some reason, I thought he was short. I thought he was a midget, like low-key. And the coat looked big on him, you know? Not really sure to feel about him until he takes off his mask. That's fair. Anyone want to say anything? Jihad drew a mustache on his face that morning, and he tried to cover it up. He, he gave him the Jigglypuff doodles. Even weirder kinks, and, weirder kinks than Jihad, really? Is Jihad, is Jihad kinky? What's Jihad's weirder kink? Just out of curiosity, what's his weirder kink? No, nah, it's a too big reach. They were from outside. There's no way he's a Shinsue. I, don't, I think he thinks that maybe he was able to turn himself into one. C- c- certain comments like that, I can't really like wrap my head around it because I think that's just someone's personal headcanon. I don't agree with it at all, so I, just, I, I let them rock. Yeah, he does seem disconnected. Yeah, for sure. He feels like... I think he's one of those really introverted types. I assume Jihad and or Eileen probably brought him out of his shell somewhat during the climb. But afterwards, whatever betrayal he mentioned probably went even harder into that introvert. Oh, I, I kind of like that idea, though, Azaro. Like, the idea that it was like... Because I, I'm, I, I could admit that even me sometimes, the right person can get me to kind of like get the stick out my ass, so to speak, and come out my shell, because I'm kind of a stick in the mud sometimes, and I'm like, I gotta do what's serious, I don't care if it feels good, I gotta do what's important. So, some people can bring that out of you, so that's cool. Darth Bia slightly moving me. <laughs> Darth Bia is a raw name for him. Yeah, that's why I said yeah. Joe, Dr. Bonehead got, got involved too. It's the face mask, the Vader quotes. Okay, we can, we can go past this. This is me just roasting it, how ugly he is. So Joe said, surpassing my expectations, to be honest. I feel the same vibes that I do from Gustang. Emotionless, dead eyes, but intimidating as hell. Did he reply to me? I don't know if he replied to me. He's more of a recluse and depressive guy than Gustang. Gustang didn't necessarily come across to me as a recluse. Aloof, does his own thing, but not to this degree. But... They are both very weirdly antisocial in their own way. I think it's interesting because I always expected all the family has to be more charismatic, but it makes sense not all of them are. Okay. 
Haven't caught up, but I like his big ass coat. Okay. I like how he. I like how he has a superiority complex like Gus Dang and keeps things consistent from what SIU said about the ten, the ten greats, the ten heads. And he's evil as F. Yeah. Bug is a bug type beat. I like how they all have their own unique spin on their elitism god complex. Gus Dang is bugs, vermin, Rachel, um, trauma is trifles creatures, and Arie Han sees all his children as little parts of his only Arie sword looking... Uh, forward to seeing wild ish from the psychos. Not caught up yet. What is more, is more replies? Hold on. He looks uh like he is unapproachable, and he does seem to be in a higher state of existence compared to the others. Oh, he's uninterested to the suffering he causes and in others, but. I expect, but expected of a family head being revered as a god. Yeah, like his his attitude isn't really um. Whatever, you know? So, yeah. Dark Bia kind of cold, not gonna lie. Dark Bia kind of cold, kind of crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying?